What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Eric here. So we're back on the old FZ07. It's still looking good. We finally got some parts in. So we got some grips. We need those. We got some new stainless steel brake lines. We're put those on. Got myself a battery. Nothing crazy. Got ourselves a seat. We can put the seat on. Picked up an R6 front master cylinder. So we can put that on as well. Got some fancy little decals. Put some decals on the bike also. Nice little Yamaha decal on the bottom. Uh, we got our ECU from AP Moto Arts. This is actually Andy's ECU. Uh, I guess he couldn't find mine or it got lost in the mail so he sent me his. We got a new Delron piece. We finally put that on the bike. And they sent some brake fluid and cleaner. Cool. I won't say no to that. And then we also need to put the old hugger back on. So, we got a few things to do. We get, once we get all this done, we get the battery in the bike, we'll get this thing started. I haven't heard it yet. They sound good in person, but I'm ready to hear this one. So let's get to work. You guys check it out so we got our tank yamaha decals on the bike we got our yamaha decals on the bike in the bottom of the bike we got our seat installed i like it and we managed to put our tire hugger on as well some bit of protection from the old chain doesn't look too bad starting to look more like a bike that's for sure but i think overall it looks pretty good cheap little stickers from amazon but they work well so you're starting to look more like a bike. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to start messing with the old brake lines, which means we need to start taking these fairings off so we can get to the brake lines, mainly in the front. Uh, still need to put the grip on, but 
This old master cylinder needs to come off of the bike so we can put the new one on, which is over here in this mess. Don't mind that. So after we take this off, along with that, I need to reroute the throttle cable behind the dash, if you will. It'll go up behind it, basically on top of this, on top of this little guy. So anyways, let's get back to work. All right, you guys, check it out. So we got the brake lines installed. They're not too bad. Um, so we got the stainless brake lines installed. We got a couple clamps up here. We got this down here. Uh, we managed to get this all situated, so we finally have room 
up here for the master cylinder we'd actually fully pull the brake all the way back because we don't have that big old bulky thing which is really nice uh, we got this hooked up now we got to figure this out we might just take this off and mount it directly to here if we brown the if we mount it to there i have to buy a new line that's not the big deal i can always make a little bracket this sits right, right there but i think we'll just go ahead and probably mount it there just get a new line that's not the big of a deal um it's these are made for the actual fc07 when these sit up higher so they're a little long but overall they seem to work um, they look pretty good they're pretty slick and then on the rear brake the rear brake looks just as good it's not too shabby if you will fits in nicely it's the same thing for the rear brake i need to make a little bracket for that i did manage to get these little guys i don't remember what these are from but i think this will probably work perfect for that and i'm not gonna bleed the brakes on film i'll probably do that off film uh, mainly because i gotta need to make the bracket for the front still but for the time being we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this battery replace the battery and replace the ECU, go ahead and put that in, in the bike. So, I think as I mentioned before, this ECU was, was actually Andy's ECU, because my ECU was sent to him, he sent it back, it got lost in the mail. So, he sent me his, so that's appreciated. So let's go ahead, let's get the ECU installed on the bike, and maybe we'll try to turn it on. Let's get to it. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? Oh man, did that sound good. Now, <laughs> we got the old bike started, which is awesome. It sounds amazing, but I couldn't really uh, I couldn't really rev it. One, it's cold, and two, it's about 11 o'clock at night, and I don't feel like the neighbor's getting upset, if you will. So, <laughs> that's awesome. This sounds great. Um, as you see, the dash lights up just fine. We got the new battery changed in her. She's only got 1,993 miles on her. She looks good. The old oil light's on, but looking inside of the motor, there's oil in the, in the bike. So I don't know if that means much. We'll still do an oil change later on down the road anyways. Need to change the air filter as well. But she sounds wonderful. Um, nothing special about the old battery. Just the old standard battery, but it works. Nothing crazy, if you will. So <clears throat> we only have a few more things to do on the bike, then we'll put the fairings back on her and call it a day. So, I managed to, um, I misplaced this piece that goes on this side for the old shifter so I can install the bar. And now, I also have this for the kickstand that is just temporarily zip-tied open. So, I need to worry about work on that. Uh, we got our new Delron piece, so we'll install the Delron piece. We'll put the fairings back on. Um... And then prior another video we'll make our brackets but <laughs> i am i am ecstatic that the bike started guys so let's go ahead let's get this quick delron piece in that we finally got from andy and oh we also got to put our uh 
our grip on as well. That'll be nice instead of a slick bar. So anyways, let's get back to work, get these fairings back on the bike and call it a night. decals. I might try to get our uh, torque ride symbol smashed right here in the middle so everybody can see it, but that's for a later time on the road. We still have a few things left on the bike to do. We still need to make brackets for the brake reservoirs front and the rear. We may not video that if you will. I still need to bleed the brakes after that, um, but overall she looks great. And not to mention, we got our first start with the old Yoshi on, on the bike. She sounds absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, it's late outside, so I can't really let into her. Plus, she's still pretty cold out. So I'll probably be looking to replace the air filter and change the oil on the bike off camera. Probably bleed the brakes as well. So perhaps the next time you guys actually see this bike, hopefully we'll be doing a track day with her. But overall, she's looking great. So as always, guys, I hope you guys like what you see. Go ahead, like, subscribe, throw any comments down below. You have the old FCO7. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>